What is up YouTube? This is Rob here back with another Black Ops 3 video and in today's video I am going to be showing you guys my class, my setup, um, everything that I use on a regular basis. Now I switch things up a little bit here and there um, but for the most part I stay with the same class. Um, I'm also going to show you guys some of my stats uh, as far as how long I've been playing and how many kills I've acquired and things like that so let's get right in this uh, I thought I'd do something a little bit different this time with you guys um, I don't really do tips and tricks but this is a, a tips and tricks kind of video trying to you know give you guys advice on a good class to run with because this is literally the only class I've been running with since Black Ops 3 has been out and it has done work for me the whole time so let's get right into this now for my class we'll get into the class I run with the KN44 now I know I've said it in my videos before this is the gun I rock now I want to show you how I set it up um, now mainly I usually don't use an optic I run it with the iron sights and that way I could take it off and I could add a perk down here that's why I said I kind of switch things around a little bit um, but mainly I always have long barrel which I just unlocked the black market long barrel that's what that is um, the grip rapid fire is a must on any class in my opinion other than submachine guns um, it just you, you want more bullets penetrating your enemy rather than less and then the suppressor just because that's kind of optional um, I know it does take you off the radar um, but it does kind of mess with the gun a little bit makes it a little weaker um, so that is optional if, if you like to go around and stay off the radar then you know rock the suppressor but if you don't then don't use the suppressor you can put something else in there um, the black cell, obviously, guys, is a must in Black Ops 3. Everybody uses a black cell. Mainly because you could shoot down anything. Um, if an enemy calls in a care package, you shoot it down with this with one rocket, and you get 125 points. That's one kill and a, a half of an assist. I mean, that's... That's a lot of points just for shooting down a aircraft that isn't really even doing anything to you other than dropping down a care package and that's just one example you could shoot down haters with this you could shoot down UAVs counter UAVs you could shoot uh, talons you could shoot everything with this um, in my personal opinion they need to nerf this so there's only three rockets in it because right now it is just too OP it's shooting down everything uh, people call in a wraith and it's shot down right away um, so that's why I use that it's just a a nice way to stay off the radar now if I take this off I have to rock ghost because it's one or the other with me so I rather get points by shooting down stuff rather than just staying off the map with ghost so Ghost and the Black Cell kind of do the same thing, if you wanna, if you wanna say that. Um, I don't really run a second perk. If I do, I seem to run Hardwired a lot. It does a lot. Um, if you look at the description, you're immune to counter UAVs, power cores, EMP grenades, smoke screen, won't trigger on a trap mine, shock charges, C4. You are also not tracked by six cents and tracker which is a perk um so i don't really i don't know i don't really use this too much but if i do i usually mess with that and then the third one um i kind of switch around to um if i'm running care package i rock the engineer if i'm not running care package i'll usually switch between technical mask and awareness now it all depends on what game mode I'm playing but for the most part this is the gun that I go to my KN44 it is my AN94 it is my everything this is my um, 
R.I.P. You know the the AK-12 from Advanced Warfare. This is my gun. This is this is the gun that I will like throughout Black Ops 3, and I know it unless they nerf it completely. But this is my favorite gun, and I recommend this class to any of you. Um, now I want to touch base a little bit on my stats just to show you guys where I am at. Um, also. Before I get into the stats, let me show you my emblems. This is the latest emblem I've created, Try Hard or Die, and yes, it's trademark. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's my first one, um, KM, gotta love it. All my uh, player cards are made by me. I, on my spare time, well, growing up, not my spare time, growing up, I used to draw a lot. I'm really, really good at drawing, so I have this just natural talent. When it comes to making emblems, I don't know, I'm just good at it. Uh, obviously, YouTube Killer Mentality Clan, you gotta have a YouTube emblem. Um, Rob, this is my classic emblem I've been rocking for years now, and I always switch up the color on it. Uh, right now, I got it red, blue, and orange, but yes, that color changes on there. Um, yes, that's right, guys. I can't. Don't judge me. <laughs> camping all day that's how you get kills um but uh calling cards i'm not gonna get too much into this i'll show you guys what i got through the black market um i got the tunes the creatures the food fight in the dinosaur this is all i really have i don't have too much on the black market um and if i had some crypto keys i would unlock a few right now with you guys but i don't um I will be making a video in the future of that, uh, but let's get into my barracks, uh, multiplayer, my KD is a 1.77, I think the last time I announced my KD to you guys, I was at a 1.73, so it's staying right in the 1.7 range, that has actually been my average um, in Call of Duty, it's always been around 1.8, 1.7, right in there. Um, I've had it over 2 at times, I've had it a little bit below 1.7 at times, so it it fluctuates in between there. Um, here's my kills, my, you know, my top medals. I just got my first super kill just a few games ago. Um, let's see. This is my calling card showcase. Probably will switch that up. Uh, don't even have a snapshot yet. But yes, Prestige 6, level 32. I've played five days, five hours, and 46 minutes on this game. Um, my win-loss ratio is a 2.58, which is really good. I win almost, let's say, gosh, that's... That's almost winning three games in a row every time I play, and then I lose, so that's pretty good. I mean, for an average, and then my score per minute is a 330. Um, and my total score, geez, what is that, 2 million? It's up there, it's pretty high, so. Um, deadliest weapon, KN44, with the 15,000 kills, the 22% accuracy. Uh, that's pretty good, though. Um, my deadliest specialist is the Prophet, which is very surprising because, like I said before, guys, this is my very least favorite specialist. It might be that way because I had to use it for so long to finish a challenge, and I just started racking up more kills with it, and it made it my deadliest specialist but I, I truly believe it's it's more of the heat wave that's my favorite um, and then score streaks UAV hater hardened sentry that's my main setup right there um, equipment wow 116 kills with the C4 it doesn't even feel like I've gotten that many um, and then the game modes that I play mainly team deathmatch uh, and then domination and then yeah that's about it I don't really mess with the other ones other than kill confirmed and 
demolition sometimes and hard point sometimes but that's about it guys I just wanted to do somewhat of a little black ops 3 behind the scenes update video with me so you guys could see uh, my stats and just what I play with uh, not only that the mic quality when I do videos like this sounds so much better than when I actually have to go back and put commentary over my videos so um, I don't understand why it's like that it has to do something with the software that I have and uh, my mic I don't really know what it is you guys probably noticed lately my mic is starting to sound it's starting to go downhill a little bit and hopefully I could get a new one pretty soon I'm not sure on that but um, as far as my videos go it I, I noticed it um, from back in the days when I had my first mic it was horrible very horrible and then I got this headphone and it sounded really good in the beginning and now it's just starting to I'm not really sure what it's doing but it might be distorted or um, the moisture got into it or something but sometimes it just it sounds like it's rattling around when I'm talking on the mic um, but that's it guys I just wanted to show you my class what I run with um, and like I said somewhat a somewhat of a tips and tricks video for you guys so you guys could try out this class let me know what you think about it and give it a shot don't don't use it for one game and then give up and be like Rob doesn't know what he's talking about or I don't know how Rob plays with that gun it sucks it really is a good gun so but that's about it guys I'll catch you guys in the next video this is Rob and I'm out peace